YouTube is going. Yes, I know we're making another video for today. Honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is because we haven't gotten a uh, word from Triple Tactics Tim or DK for the new upcoming leaks or the additional leaks for the month of September. Now, this is a new archetype that's going to be added. And I typically assume that this would come out because or this would be included in the selection pack because from the previous leak with the Aroma Mage, we'll have plants. So typically or the additional leaks will be basically Ragnarika. This was confirmed on Decade's last stream. So we'll have Ragnarika added into the mix. Now, what are Ragnarika, if you might ask? This is basically good plant, insect, or reptile supports, but mostly good with reptiles and plant supports. Now, honestly, there are a ton of variants for this with Rikas and Ogdodike. Now, I'll showcase you guys some other good builds for this from the OCG and from the TCG. This topped a ton of good places in the TCG, which we have here, um, Rikas. So people are running the Evil Seed with a copy of the Bloom. And with, and they're also running the Ragnarika card, the Skeletal Soldier, and the uh, Aroma Mage, which is the uh, Aroma Lilith. I do think this is, this is the time that we can learn Rikas. I'm pretty sure this will be a pretty good deck as well. Now for the OCG, I think people are running this with, with Ogdodek and it tops some good um, places as well. So there is another variant for this. I think there's only one variant here for um, OCG, I guess. Or this is from Japan, right? Uh, this, this, this is from Japan. So we have here Ogdodek, a reptile version for the Ragnarika. They're running the copies of Wicked Butterfly plus the Armored Lizard, which is pretty good. A copy of Wicked Butterfly and Armored Lizard are from the Infant Forbidden. And the rest are from the old sets of Legacy of Destruction. There we go. So uh, that's basically it. We'll showcase this one by tomorrow, I guess. I have to learn the deck at first for Ogdodike and Rikas. But we'll do a showcase by tomorrow. And yes, this is a pretty good deck to add into the, into the mix as well. Um, I am excited for this because this is a new deck to actually test with. But anyways, what does Ragnarika do? So let's talk about the cards first and foremost. We have Armored Lizard. You can spell some of this card from your hand by banishing one insect, plant, or reptile monster. This is a pretty good card, by the way, because Snake Rain can be used now for the game. So this card, although it is a UR, but yes, this is a really good support for reptile monsters. So if you're going with Ogdodike, this is the best card for you. So this allows you to dump four reptile monsters from your deck to the graveyard. The best thing about Ogdodike is there are only like a couple of cards that, that are URs for this deck, but this is, is the only URs for the deck. And I think we are not even using a copy of Ogdo Abyss. We're running only a copy of Nunu and a copy of Noya here. Usually I, in some builds that I've seen, they're only using this. And the Water Lily is the only UR for this deck. So you can play this one out if ever um ragnarika will be a little bit cheaper though there we go so that is armored lizard you can discard one insect plant or reptile monster then target one face-up monster your opponent controls except an insect plant or reptile monster return it to the hand wicked butterfly you can discard this card spell summon one insect plant or reptile monster from your hand which is pretty good if this card is banished from the hand or graveyard you can activate this effect during the end phase draw cards equal to the number of plant insects or reptile monsters you control with different types which is pretty good Samurai Beetle is you can spell someone this card from your hand by placing one of your banished insect plant or reptile monsters on the bottom of your deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a Ragnarika Link monster, you can target one level four or lower insect plant or reptile monster from your graveyard and spell summon it in defense positions. So another good card as well for um, gaining materials. And then we have the Ragnarika Evil Seed. You can spell someone this card from your hand by sending one insect plant or reptile monster from your hand or graveyard. That is a pretty strong effect as well. If this card is normal or spell summon, you can add up to two of your Rekka cards with different names that are banished and or in your deck to your hand. Then banish one Rekka card from your hand. Also, you cannot spell summon for the rest of the turn except plant and reptiles, which is not half bad. Then we have the new Link monsters that came from the Infant Forbidden. We have Stag Sovereign. If a monster is spell summoned from your opponent's deck and or extra deck, you can destroy two monsters on the field, which is a stronger effect popping cards and it has a 3k attack well typically 3300 attack so if this card is in your graveyard you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control place it at the bottom of the deck and if you do spell summon this card also you cannot spell summon monsters for the rest of the turn except insect plant or reptile monsters not half bad then we have the chain coils if your opponent activates a monster effect you can activate this effect 
Neither player can activate monster effects in the hand for the rest of the turn. So a pretty good counter for hand traps as well. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control, place it to the bottom of your deck. And if you do spell summon this card, also you cannot spell summon for the rest of the turn, yada yada yada, except insect plant or reptiles. And then we have the Link 3 monster, Mantis Monk. You can manage two insect plant or reptile monsters from your graveyard. Add one Raika trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control. Place it to the bottom of the deck, and if you do spell summon this card, also you cannot spell summon for the rest of the turn except insect plant and reptile monsters. Then we have Ragnarok as Celine Snapper. You can banish up to two monsters from your graveyard and target that many spell and trap cards your opponent controls, destroy them. So spell and trap card destruction. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control. Place it to the bottom of the deck, and if you do spell summon this card, also you cannot spell summon for the rest of the turn except insect plant and reptile monsters. Okay. Then we have, I think this is one of the most useful cards for the deck as well. It is a link to plant monster. So Ragnarok a Skeletal Soldier. You can target one Raika monster in your graveyard. Spell Summon it in defense position. Really good effect. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control. Place it to the bottom of the deck. And if you do spell summon this card. Okay, that's pretty good. Then for the spell and trap cards. So spell cards, Ragnarok a Bloom. This is, this is a continuous spell, by the way. All insect plant and reptile monsters on the field gains 300 attack and defense. And also other monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. You can activate one of these effects. So uh, add one Raika monster from your deck to your hand. Then discard one card. Spell summon one of your Raika monster that is banished or in your graveyard in defense position. So really good synergy as well. Um, for your trap cards, we have here the Ragnarok Bleach Wisteria. Spell summon this card as a normal monster, plant dark, level 4, attack 1600. This card is also still a trap card. Wow. Or treated as a trap card. I think that's what it's implying. Then if you control a Ragnarok Link monster, you can banish up to two cards from your opponent's graveyard. Wow. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle two insects, plants, or reptile monsters from your graveyard or banishment into the deck. And if you do, set this card. Wow, that's pretty strong for a card. And lastly, we have one Ragnarok Hunting Dance. Target cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect, plant, or reptile link monsters you control with different types. Destroy them. If a face-up insect plant or reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card and target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. That is a crazy deck though, even if you pair it with Rika's and Aldodike. I would say this would be a really good archetype to add into the game. And hopefully we'll get this one though. I'm excited to actually use this or to showcase this one to you guys. Hopefully by tomorrow though. Hopefully by tomorrow. I'm still gonna learn this deck. But anyways, that is it for the leaks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.